Titan does have an integrated trailer brake controller. It's really nice. Kind of a red, lava red, orange lettering in their logo. Hey guys, right there behind me is what could be one of the most underrated pickup trucks. It's the new 2020 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. As you may know, it has a updated engine with a little bit more power and premium fuel and a brand new 9-speed automatic transmission. And at the end of this video, not only will I tell you the fuel efficiency on this truck with a 5,000 pound trailer, but also its final price with every option you could put on it. It's a little bit of a surprise. It's still amazing how quickly this engine revs and lets you go to redline every single time. Under the hood of this Titan is a familiar engine. It's a 5.6 liter gas V8, naturally aspirated, and for 2020 it's been updated with some new tuning. If you put 91 octane or higher premium fuel into it, the power rating is 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. It's a very strong output. It's also the base engine and the premium engine all in one. So right now in the Titan, you only get one engine option and this is it. And it's made it, like I said, to a nine-speed automatic transmission, which is also new and it replaces the old seven-speed automatic. So the new transmission should let it shift a little bit smoother and have more gear ratios to provide better towing. So let's see how it actually performs. Here's a two inch receiver on the Titan and the chain loops for the hooks here are very easy to get to, very convenient. As always, I'm using our Gen Y hitch this is our new glider. It has some torsion um, axle in here. It cushions the ride. I'm gonna be testing it today as well to see how it improves the ride. It should, in the previous test with a Jeep Gladiator, I noticed a big difference. And guys, of course, Gen Y Hitch is our partner and check them out using the link below, genyhitch.com. For these series of tests, I'm still using our heavy duty car hauler trailer. This is a Northstar Iron Bowl. We got it at our friends at Jayhawk Trailers here in Colorado. And it's very heavy duty, it's got a wooden deck, has about 11,000 pound capacity. The trailer itself weighs around 3,000 pounds because we have the spare tire mounted on it as well. And ballast is a really fun Polaris Razor Pro XB4. This is one of their latest turbocharged models. And we actually have a review of it on TFL Off-Road Channel, so go check it out. I actually was able to do a 0-60 to 60 comparison, and you won't believe how quick this one is. This is basically the quickest Polaris Razor I've ever tested. But this is a heavy-duty trailer, 5,000 pound total load, including the Razor. So why do I think this truck is underrated? Well, there are a couple of reasons for this. First, it's probably it's tow rating. It's the crew cab four-wheel drive Pro 4X Nissan Titan and the 2020 version of it as well is rated to tow around 9,200 pounds maximum towing capacity. That's not very much for a half-ton truck these days. I mean, if you can consider that a four-wheel drive F-150 or a Silverado 1500 or a Ram 1500 can tow over 11,000 or over 12,000 pounds, that's the ratings. This truck is rated to 9,200 pounds and Nissan says it's because that is the kind of gross combined weight rating that they still um, targeted for this truck and when they did this little refresh in 2020 they didn't change that um, but the chassis is very capable 
and I think that's why it's underrated. I'm talking about the engine, the, just the transmission, the, the frame itself, the suspension. And when I'm towing right now, I'm just heading to the fuel stop. Uh, it's a really comfortable truck. It's squatted just over an inch. Um, so not very much squat with this 500 pound ton weight on this 5,000 pound trailer. premium fuel 91 octane and 30 seconds has elapsed so I'm gonna top off all right let's go all right so I topped off everything is proper I'm gonna just fire up reset the trip meter and I'll be on my way and another reason why I think this truck is underrated is because sometimes uh, some people may think that it has uh, it's lacking some features. Well, no. Interior on the Pro 4X has been updated. Just look at that lava red stitching once again. I still want to call it orange. Maybe I should keep calling it orange. It looks orange to me. The steering wheel continues the theme. And of course, then there is a center console. I like every aspect of this screen and infotainment system with one exception. Um, well, first of all, the really high resolution. You have all your choices, your audio, your nav system. But the camera, although it offers you a 360 degree view, as you can tell here, and you see dynamic lines when you turn your steering wheel, the resolution on the camera is kind of poor. It's, it's worse than I've seen in the latest Fords, especially Rams or Jeeps, um, and even the GMC and Chevrolet trucks. So I, I wish that would improve the resolution of the camera because everybody is kind of stepping up their game. The Titan does have an integrated trailer brake controller. It's really nice. I turned down my gain to four out of 10. When I had it at five, like I normally do, I was locking up the trailer tires a little bit, so I turned it down and the emergency trailer brake control is still here, very easy to reach. This truck also has ventilated and heated seats. This Pro 4X is equipped with a Fender audio system. It's really great. It's hard to show it to you on YouTube and, uh, and uh, you have to be here and hear it for yourself. And of course, finally, new for 2020, we have the gigantic sunroof. The Titan didn't have a panoramic sunroof over the last couple of years. And now it does. Because I'm towing, I am using tow haul mode. So usually, when we tow, especially 5,000 pounds is enough, and especially around town, to warrant the use of tow haul mode. If this was a, like a, a very lightweight 1,000 pound trailer or 1,500 pounds trailer, and I, I was on a straight highway going cross country, tow haul mode doesn't work for that situation at high speeds. It helps in traffic, accelerating, slowing down, helping you, helping you brake. Uh, that type of thing. For 2020, the Nissan Titan gets a design update, a refresh. And on the Pro 4X, that means, uh, of course, the new headlights with LED signature lights, uh, improved light, headlight coverage at night, a brand new grill and now several of the Titan models are getting unique grill designs and you know once again this is a Pro 4X because of the stamp in the grill it kind of has this blacked out look this color is called Red Alert yes this truck pops 
you could see it from space probably. Nissan also says red accents like the tow hooks. Of course, it has a skid plate for off roading. And of course, first on any Nissan, a kind of a red, lava red, orange lettering in their logo, which no other Nissan currently does. And if you want to see this truck going off road, Tommy and Roman uh, did a video. Uh, they put this truck up against the new Trail Boss, the 2020 Silverado 1500. So you can watch that video on TFL Truck and see exactly how the off-road prowess of this new Titan compares. Like I told you, this truck has nearly every single option you could put on it. Of course, alloy wheels, general grabber tires. This is pretty standard for the Pro 4X trim level and that hasn't changed for 2020. It has blacked out fender flares. This particular model does not offer a towing mirror. I mean, this particular truck doesn't. This is a little mirror aerodynamic devices. Both mirrors have a convex little mirror for better view. And here underneath the mirror is this camera for the 360 degree view. This truck is also equipped with an optional steel step. That's about a thousand buck option. And it has a nice, of course, lava red orange Titan right here with a Titan emblem on top. Not only do you get the Pro 4X logo obviously and the new applique on the tailgate but of course the utility on this truck is still good this is a crew cab with a basically what is a short bed five and a half footer but it does have nissan's uh, tie down system it does have a power outlet right here which is very useful and also lights if you can see in the front under the bed rail light system and there are additional lights right here by the side by the tail lights so it does have additional utility you can actually do some work in this truck at night bed liner a utility track system in the floor so that's of course all still there from before this truck also has this optional step in the back it's very useful when you're towing because if the tailgate is down and the trailer is right here and you want to get on the truck from the side, you could always do that. Pretty nice. The truck also has optional mud flaps. They have Pro 4X on them. Um, it is an option. You don't have to have it if you don't like it. And the axles and the shocks and the suspension are basically the same as they were in 2019 and before. You can see those Bilstein shocks under there. But the rear axle ratio has changed because of the new transmission. The way this truck is equipped, the sticker in the door says it has 1,267 pounds of total payload capacity. It's not bad for a fully optioned, luxurious off-road model of a truck. As I was saying about the rear differential, Nissan changed it because they also changed the transmission and the rear differential ratio is now 3.69 to 1. It was like a 293, 2.93, so it's quite a bit different, but it also is matched to a other, the whole other gear set in this transmission. And from this, a little bit of city and also highway driving, I'm doing right now um, I can tell you that it's just it's well matched the launch the truck launches just fine it has plenty of power down low uh, when it cruises at about 55 60 it's turning it around what about 1500 rpm so uh, I think it has a good balance of power and also um, cruising kind of efficiency but we'll see exactly uh, what the efficiency is when I get to the pump. Titan fuel economy rating. So this particular truck starts at just under 50,000 bucks, but then it has the utility package. It's got the parking sensors and of course the outlets for charging, trailer brake controller, convenience package that includes leather and 
heated seats, a lot of nice conveniences. Moonroof is actually almost $1,500. Protection package with a medical kit, and of course the steps for about a grand. And the total price is $60,180. There you have it. I have one more small complaint about the Titan, and it just has to do with me. I'm just over 6'2 in height, and I always, and this has happened for several years, I always feel like I'm sitting on top of the Titan. The seat, I kind of feel like I'm too close to the ceiling, um, and the windshield is not, like, I don't have, I just, something is odd about the sitting position for me. I just wish the seat would sink a little bit lower, but I'm in the lowest position right now. Here's the result. I filled up with premium. Okay, so let's do this loop calculation. 24 miles divided by 2.018. Equals 11.9. A very good result and basically maybe just a hair better than that Jeep Gladiator Mojave did. 11.9. That's what the truck is saying after my loop. And 11.9 was the calculation. Spot on. It's basically the same fuel economy as you can get in a midsize truck, but you can just be more comfortable. It's a bigger vehicle and it doesn't strain as much as a mid-size truck would. So overall, the result is pretty positive on this towing loop. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world Nissan Titan towing fuel economy reviews. Thanks.